and I am here today, um, especially for Bristol Pride, to show you how to make this awesome rainbow cake inside six layers of different coloured sponges. It's pretty awesome, even got little rainbows on the top. Um, so watch this video to find out exactly how to make it and there's a few special messages along the way from some of my buddies from Bake Off. Hello Bristol Pride, it's Michael here from the Bake Off last year. Oh look, remember, you can see my bum. Uh, <laughs> I hope you have the most wonderful, wonderful time celebrating. I know things are a bit weird at the moment, especially with lockdown. We're not able to celebrate as much as we would want to do or how we would normally want to do, but that does not mean we should not celebrate all the progress we've made and acknowledge how far we've come and also look to supporting the, those in our community who really need us at the moment. I'm sending so much love and please look after yourselves. Right then, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line our baking tins. Now I've got six 20 centimetre baking tins. You can get these really cheaply in the supermarket for a couple of quid each. They're quite shallow, um, but that's perfect for the size cake that we want. So I'm going to grease and line them. So all I do is I get a pastry brush, a bit of butter, give it a good coating. And then I use these. These are literally heaven sent. <laughs> Um, they're pre-cut parchment paper. For someone who bakes a lot, they're amazing. And they're just pre-cut, so you literally just pop them in your tin. And you're good to go. Love them. And then I can repeat that with all my tins. There we go, they're all greased, ready to go. The next stage is to turn your oven on. I would go for about 160 fan, because I find that if you bake the cake slightly longer at a lower temperature, you don't get as much doming and we want them as flat as possible. So 160 degrees fan, 180 conventional. The next step is to make our sponge. Place 600 grams of room temperature unsalted butter into your mixer or pop it in a bowl ready to use an electric whisk. We're gonna whisk it up until it's lovely, pale and fluffy. Once your butter looks like this, lovely and pale and creamy, we're gonna add 600 grams of caster sugar. I prefer golden, but just use whatever you've got. Then we're gonna beat that again with a stand mixer or an electric mixer until it's all combined and super fluffy. There we go, it's all mixed up, our butter and our sugar. So the next thing to do is to add our flour and our eggs. Now the best way to do this is to add 50% of the flour mix, 50% of the eggs mix and repeat. There's also a little bit of baking powder in here, one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon, sorry. And this is self-raising flour. So I'm just gonna add those to our mixture. And there's our lovely cake batter all made and ready to be colored into our rainbow colors. Split the batter evenly between six bowls. There we go, our bowls are ready to be coloured. Here we go. There we go, we've got all our colours ready for our rainbow cake and I've managed to dye my hands as well. <laughs> it's a good look. To my favourite city in the UK, happy Pride Bristol. I wish I was there and I hope all of you have a fantastic day. Right then, we've got our sponge batter made and it's all split up and coloured into six different colours. The next step is to transfer it into our prepared tins from earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Once you've all the batter in each one, give it a smooth down and then that's ready to go in the oven. And there we go, our rainbow sponges are now ready to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Keep an eye on them and when they're firm to the touch and you can put a skewer in and they come out clean, they're good to go. While our cakes are in the oven, we're gonna make our icing. Now this is a cheats Swiss meringue buttercream. Um, it's just a little bit quicker than a normal Swiss meringue buttercream, but it tastes absolutely lovely. You can just make a straight up American buttercream with butter and icing sugar, but perhaps giving this a go is really, really good. So in here, I've got 170 ml of egg whites, which is about seven eggs. And I've also got 680 grams of icing sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to give it a mix until all of the sugar is wet and covered in the egg whites. So as you can see, all our egg whites are nice and mixed in with our sugar and our salt. So I'm just going to whip this up with my stand mixer or an electric misc, misc, whisk, for about five minutes. Um, and then we're going to add some butter to it. So I've whipped the egg whites and the sugar 
until it looks like that. So it's still a kind of soft peak, but it's lovely and thick and glossy. And now I'm gonna add the butter, 680 grams of butter. It's a lot of butter. Um, one tablespoon at a time whilst continually mixing on a kind of medium to low speed. And now it looks like this. Very, very yummy. And now I'm gonna whip it for between five and 10 minutes until it's perfectly smooth and all the butter's all incorporated. And that's our icing. And now our icing is lovely and smooth and silky. So I'm just gonna cover it, pop it in the fridge just to harden up a little bit and then it'd be ready to use. Mm -hmm. All our sponges are cooked. Um, I let them cool in their tins just for five, 10 minutes and then I pop them out onto a cooling rack to cool down. They need to be completely cool before we ice them, otherwise you end up with a very wonky cake. And while we're waiting for them to cool, I've got another little message from another one of my Bake Off buddies. Hello all you beautiful people of Bristol, this is Stephen from the Great British Break Off coming to you from a field in England. Uh, now listen, I know we can't march outside this year, I know we can't meet with all of our friends and we can't dress up in our flamboyant frivolousness, much to my disappointment, but it does not stop us being proud, beautiful people um, and I just, I, I love you all so much. I wish you the very, very, very best virtual pride. I will be there next year with Bryony at the front of whatever line there is screaming from the top of my lungs with a whistle and a rainbow flag in my hands telling you all how much I love you. Have a wonderful one. Take care. Bye. Okay so our cakes are cooled, our buttercream has chilled so we're ready to actually build our cake now. You may see a tail going past now and again. That's just my dog Archie. He likes to wander around in the background. Um, right, so for this you will need a cake board or a plate to put your cake on. I've got one of these cake turntable thingies which are really handy, but don't worry if you haven't got that, you can do it without. You'll also need a palette knife if you've got one again. If you don't, just a, a tablespoon will work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack our cakes. So, I need to make sure I get the, <laughs> get the rainbow right on this side. I'm gonna check behind me. Uh, so purple at the bottom, right, so we're gonna get our, gonna put a little bit of icing on the board, that's just to make sure our cake stays in place. Gonna pop him on there. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a big dollop of icing on there. And I'm just gonna use my palette knife to spread it out. So this will be a very tall cake. Put the next one on, so after purple is blue. Blue on top of there. And once you've popped it on, just give it a little press down so it sort of settles onto the one underneath. And then I'm just going to repeat that with each layer until I get to the top in the rainbow order, which I will keep checking the rainbow behind me because I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> When you get to the last sponge, which is the red one for me, turn the sponge upside down so that the bottom is on the top because that way you get a perfect flat top on your cake. Very handy little tip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put icing all over and just try and smooth it down. Um, this coat doesn't have to be perfect because this is the, um, the crumb coat, so I'm just going to pop it on and smooth it around. and smooth. Um, you can still see the cake but that's absolutely fine because this is just the crumb coat. We're going to add another layer of buttercream. Um, I'm going to pop this in the fridge for half an hour to an hour to really chill it right down, make sure it's nice and set so it won't fall over because as, as I said it's quite a tall cake. Um, and then we're going to get it out, re-ice it and do the decorations. Hi everyone, happy Bristol Pride. So the cake is chilled for about half an hour I reckon. Um, and now I'm going to add the second coat of icing. So for this, you can either have a straight side, um, a bit closer. So this is um, a cake scraper, but it's got bumpy bits on it, so it creates a really nice effect that I'm quite a fan of. Or you can go for straight sides. So it's completely up to you. Um, or you know, you don't have to use one. You can just use a palette knife or a knife um, and just get it as smooth as you can, really. So I'm just going to add the rest of the icing now and smooth it out. 
I quite like putting it on the top and then sort of oh, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> I quite like putting it on the top and then pushing it over the side. Normally it doesn't go all the way down the side, but there we go. So just once you've covered the whole cake, just use your palette knife or your spoon just to smooth it down a little bit, just so it's kind of even-ish. Sort of fill in any gaps you've got. And you want, and you want to save a little bit of icing. Um, probably about three tablespoons worth of icing for the end we're going to pipe a little bit onto the top. Right, now we've got our second layer of icing on. I'm going to use my fancy cake scraper, but again, like I said, you can leave it like this. You could use a fork to pull it around the edges to give it some nice um, sort of wrinkle effect, um, smooth it with the back of a knife. However you want to finish it, it's completely up to you. So I'm just going to put this on the side. So I'm literally just going to pull the edges into the middle. You've got your edges how you want them and your top nice and flat. Um, that's going to go back in the fridge again for another 30 minutes just to harden up. And then we're going to finish with the decorations. Right, so our cake's chilled for about half an hour. So it's ready to finish the decorations. You can finish your cake however you want. Sprinkles, um, piped, non-piped, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do mine. I'm going to put some sprinkles on and I've bought these little rainbow sweets to make some little rainbows on top of the cake as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is pop some sprinkles on top. I'm also going to add some around the bottom. This is the bit where they go everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, ah! <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more teaspoon and just press them into the cake. There we go, I've got my sprinkles on, I've got them around the bottom, I've got them all over my kitchen floor, standard. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, I've popped some of the icing in a piping bag with a star nozzle, just come closer so you can see, with a star nozzle like that. I'm going to pipe, these are going to be my little clouds on top. I'm just going to pipe them on top of the sprinkles. Right, so I've piped my little swirls on. To finish our cake off, we've popped our sprinkles on and we've piped our little lovely frilly bits. I'm not sure what the official term is. I'm gonna, <laughs> my dog's trying to catch a fly in the background. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to pop some of these. They're like little rainbow sweets you can get. I got these in Asda and then I cut them in half. I'm gonna pop these on top of my swirly bits on top to make a little rainbow. So here we go. Him on and kind of push it in like that. And there we have it, our lovely, lovely rainbow cake made especially for Bristol Pride. Uh, I'm just going to slice into it so you guys can see the amazing rainbow inside. It's really big. <laughs> Ta da! Look at that rainbow! Oh, look at that! That is a lovely, lovely rainbow inside. That top one's meant to be red. It's gone a little bit pink, but that's fine. So, there we have it. And there it is, our lovely, lovely rainbow cake. Wishing you, Bristol, the very happiest of prides. I know it's not going to be the usual celebration but I know you'll celebrate in your own way and I hope you have just the best time. Sending lots of love, Mwah. see you soon.